Maybe I'm the problem, right? <laughs> oh my God. I hate these type of videos. I swear I do. And it's my hope that filming this intro, which isn't gonna be super long, hopefully, um, what follows in this, well, I can't honestly tell you what's gonna follow in this. But I know that the title that I wanted to go with was Maybe I'm the Problem. Maybe I always have been, and maybe that's something that I wasn't able to realize. But maybe subconsciously, recently, I did realize that. And I think that hindsight being 2020, subconscious then, full in my face now, maybe now I actually realized that, and maybe that's why I was trying to take preventative measures a little bit not so long ago in the past. And what I mean by that is, it was not so long ago in the past, maybe it was more toward the beginning of 2021, I had made a comment, don't even remember what video that I had made that comment in, that caused a little bit of a stir, but I made a comment and I said, I'm falling back. Not, I'm taking a break from everybody, I'm just, uh, look, I'm just gonna do me, okay? I don't wanna associate with anybody anymore, at least for the time being. However long that that is, I, I don't know. And I know that when I made that comment, there was you know a little bit of buzz about that, like, People had every right to feel any type of a way that they did. And I think subconsciously back then, and like I said now in my face, the reason that I did that and wanted to do that was I was so tired of the drama. Like, let me just take a break from everybody before something else can go wrong, so to speak. Because doesn't something always go wrong with everybody that I feature here on After Prison Show? It usually does. You're right, you're, you're right. And maybe I am the problem. I've titled this video accordingly. So I decided to take a break. Some people didn't like that. There were some people who, you know, felt one way or another about that. And most people just didn't even pay it no mind. I was doing me. I'm doing my own, like, I'm in my shed. I'm doing my videos. Got Joe Does Stuff, the other channel, doing the flip houses. I'm working with one guy, my guy Damon. Don't even put him in no videos. Anyways, even me choosing to do me and separate myself, I still can't avoid the BS, which brings us to what's going on now. And many of you may know, and many of you may not know, and if you don't know, you'll get a kick out of this regardless because it's, it's drama as usual. This past Friday, I'm filming this on Sunday afternoon. This past Friday, I went to a wedding. It was a great time. Well, that night I came home and I got on Facebook and I seen that Shannon, what could Shannon have done wrong? Shannon had posted a picture in the After Prison Show fan page, a bunch of pictures with her Angelico they, and, and Shannon's wife. They were all out to dinner. They were having a great time and good for them. However, it struck me absolutely the wrong way, which caused me to react immediately. Maybe I reacted too hastily, but I stand by my decision to boot Shannon from the APS fan page on Facebook. I personally did that because of her posting pictures with her Angelico who I have separated myself from totally, not only myself, but after prison show as well, and I've even specifically warned Shannon, hey look, steer clear of Jellico because I personally don't believe that he is good news. Now whether you listen to what I say or not, you don't have to listen, it was just some friendly advice, my opinion, right? It doesn't matter what you decide to do, it's like none of my business, really. Like, if you want to go out to dinner with Jellico, hey, that's your prerogative. You can do whatever you want to do. It's your life. Just don't go posting on After Prison Show fans about it. When you don't post nothing else there at all, that's number one, which leads me to believe this was done spitefully. And then two, you know that by posting this, this shit is going to do nothing but stir the pot. All the comments are going to come in. Damn, man, where's Jellico? Like, I miss Jellico F. Joe. And if I'm wrong and I'm being super paranoid, overtly paranoid about this, maybe I'm the problem. But I felt justified booting Shannon because I ain't talked to her in a while and now all of a sudden you wanna do this and it seems very spiteful. So when I boot her and delete the post, then her wife goes and posts it right after her. Right there in the After Prison Show fan page. And I booted her as well. And that's when I really knew that it was spiteful. And I didn't think nothing else about it, even though I knew I was getting ready to go to bed at this point, even though I knew I was going to wake up the next morning to a shit show, which of course I did. I woke up to people posting all over the After Prison Show fan page, damn, Joe booted Shannon, or somebody did, it was me. 
uh, because of posting pictures with Jellico. That's not right, uh, you know, and then yada, yada. The thing, the thing was, it was off to the races at that point. What I would learn later was, as soon as I had done that, like booted them, that she went and was talking a whole bunch of shit about me, making it seem like I was stealing or not delivering packages to her that was sent to the After Prison Show uh, P.O. box. When every package that I, I, I received, I made sure that she got it, whether it was in a mail time video that we did with her or just outside of the mail time video, because not everything made a video, right? You're gonna try to make it look like, now you're really trying to, you know, steer the view, the view of me when I, this is the thing that kills me, I did nothing wrong to you. Yo, what did I do? I gifted you a brand new moped, I tried to help you as much as I possibly could, if not for just being a positive person and, and boosting you up. Yo, Shannon, great job with everything that you're doing. You're such a motivator. And it sucks to see a situation turn to shit like this. Am I wrong for booting her from the group because of the pictures with Jellico. Probably, right? Like, let's be real. I probably hastily reacted, but it was my prerogative to do that, okay? You knew damn well how I felt about the situation. I got principles and standards that I try to hold after prison show too, and whether people like it or not, call me a cop or not, Joe DePio, whatever you're gonna call me, I don't give a fuck. Whether the views are down and the channel's dead, what, I don't care, I stand by these principles, these morals, these standards. Not only that I hold After Prison Show 2, but I hold people who associate with After Prison Show 2. I try to. You ain't gotta be no high and mighty, but just respect what I ask of you. You know damn well I don't want Jellico in that group. Or at least that was my feeling on it, right? So anyways, from there, boy, the whole shit show really took another turn. Dave got involved in this thing. Damn, Joe, tell him the truth. Why don't you really mess with me, though? Everybody's in their feelings. Damn, Joe, these are the people that helped you build after prison show. If it weren't for them, first off, let me go ahead and nip that shit in the bud real quick. I built this, and I can do whatever I want to do with this, whether that's the right thing to do or not. Let me tell you this, me falling back from people, maybe that's for their own good. Maybe because, again, I'm the problem. Maybe I'm realizing that, and look, before it goes bad, let me just step back. You're doing great in life, right? I mean, you are, aren't you? I did help you for so long along the way, did I not? Am I supposed to hold, am I supposed to hold a person's hand for the rest of their life? Are we not all grown folks up in here? And I get that, I got some really immature tendencies. I will be the first to admit that. But I truly feel like I handled every situation the best way that I could, and the one time that I handled shit the worst was with Yanni. I will never not admit that. I messed that all up. Should have gave that dude way more of a chance. Man. And from there, I tried to always do better. Did I always do better? Probably not, right? But don't go trying to make me look like I'm the fucking bad guy here when all I'm trying to do is do me and live my life. Am I not allowed to do that? And, you know, it's crazy that a person's true colors come out when they're scorned, when they're mad and they're butt hurt. Let's just be real about it. So, crazy to think all of this was behind posting a picture of Jellico on the APS fan page that I did not, I did not want that to be there. You know, you could have simply, right? Okay, let's just play the hypothetical here, right? The devil's advocate. You post that thinking, no, nah, I mean, this is fine. Or not even thinking that there's a problem with this, right? Because for anybody thinking, Joe, you were super overreacting. Well, let me detective you with this shit real quick. You post it with no ulterior motive whatsoever. And then you go back and you realize, damn, I'm kicked out of the group and my picture's deleted. You could just message me and be like, hey, uh, Joe, you know anything about this? Like, I, I didn't know that this was a big deal, right? Like, and, like, what's going on with this? And if you felt some type of way about it right then, yo, F you, Joe, like, you ain't, you ain't Mark Zuckerberg. You can't run shit like he tried to do with Facebook. Tried to be funny right there, probably worked. Or probably didn't. But you ain't do that. Nah, what you did was you had your wife go and post it right after you. And that's what leads me to believe that all of this shit was spiteful. All of this shit was a joke, right? <laughs> this will make Joe mad. Oh, Joe don't want to mess with nobody no more? Maybe that's what you were thinking. I mean, I don't personally know. But it's got to seem that type of a way to me. And then you go try to blast me. Saying what, like I'm a porch pirate or something? Like I'm stealing your packages? Man, I can't never win for losing. And you wonder why. 
I decided to say, I'm gonna do me and I'm gonna keep everything else at a distance. And it's so sad because I know damn well with Dave, with Shannon, with most everybody, I tried to do the best that I possibly could. Like, what could you honestly say that I did that was so bad that you would, you know what? I'm gonna try to destroy Joe's character. Forget him and After Prison Show. I, now I just hope that he fails because that's also what this seems like. And yes, I'm mad. Anyways, enough about all of that. I've already made this way too long. Look, when this situation popped off and all the shit was hitting the fan and going all over the place, I get boxed into a corner again where I got to explain myself, right? And again, with as many times I got to explain myself and as many times as things go wrong, it's got to be me, right? I got to be the problem. That's going to be the running theory with this, right? But hear me out on where I'm going. I wanted to do this totally different, right? I don't want to just be sitting here explaining myself. Uh, and, and I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I don't even care if you side with me or not. Side with anybody that you want to. Whoever you decide to side with, that is your prerogative. You can definitely do that. Like, I'm not trying to make you feel one way or another. I promise you I'm not. And so much, in fact, with me wanting to do all of this totally different, having to address another what happened, I thought to myself, maybe we should try to get each party's side of the story. So much, in fact, that I wanted to do a powwow, a little peer awareness group, I called it a circle jerk, where it was gonna be me, Dave, Shannon, Jellico. Those three for sure. Anybody else that we could get involved in this, that would be great too, maybe Jaron, right? But I haven't even tried to reach out to him, so. So anyways, I wanted to do this. Like, tell me exactly how you feel. Tell me what I, what's wrong with me. Tell me, right? Why you're mad. Tell me, why you mad? Interestingly enough, trying to set this up, Dave agreed to do this. And I've talked with Dave off the record, you know, about me distancing myself. And maybe me distancing myself was totally wrong, right? Maybe I should have done so and still kept in contact with people. And I'm so bad at keeping in contact with people. If you know me throughout the course of After Prison Show, you probably know I'm horrible at keeping in contact with people. I'm just, I'm just bad at it. Life happens, whatever. There's a million, there's no justification for it. So Dave agreed to do the circle jerk, right? He agreed to do it. Shannon did not agree to do it. And crazy enough, I've actually been in contact with Jellico, right? The person who I said was bad news, the person who is getting ready to go back to prison, the person who I had to cut ties with and distance myself with and distance after prison show with, the person who the last time I had a phone call with, it was not a good phone call. And the person who I had mixed feelings about how I was going to address them particularly. And that's just being real. You know, it was never about like Jellico being the bad guy, me being the good guy. That's never what it was about. It was just about decisions that had to be made, right? because of things that had happened. Ultimately, bottom line, that's what it was. So I wanna say this, and um, this is it. I had two different ways that I was gonna go about the Jellico situation. And the first way was, was more or less the worst way. However, after just recently talking to him, I realized some things, right? Jellico was, Jellico was always a friend of mine. And I was sad to learn that Jellico had gotten in trouble I was hurt to know that I had to cut ties and distance myself and then that was gonna be just a severed relationship right there. And then I addressed it, hey look, I gotta cut ties with Jellico, it is what it is. Where was I going with this? You know, I, ne I guess where I'm going is I never wanna see it turn to shit. You gotta know that that's never my intention. It's ironic as fuck that it always does turn to shit and maybe I'm the problem, right? So maybe Joe doesn't play well with others and maybe he should just do him and be by himself. You know, I'll share this real quick before I go any further, it's fresh on my mind. I had a conversation years ago with another prison YouTuber and they said to me one, it was during some drama that I was dealing with, can't remember with who, but they said, you know, Joe, that's why I don't, that's why I don't deal with nobody because it always turns to shit. And no matter whether it's your fault or it's not your fault, you don't look good in the end. And when it always turns to shit, you start to always look like you're the bad guy, right? But I can't sit here and say, and you can't possibly not know that I don't be trying, right? I don't, like, I do, I try the hardest that I possibly can and try to give people, like, every chance in the world to excel 
and be motivated to excel. The fact of the matter is this. I don't have any ill will towards Shannon. I really wish I could get her on here just so we could have her say her piece, right? And for Dave, no ill will neither, right? I'm sorry that people are mad that I just cut them off. It was never like intended to um, be messed up. It was never intended to be a messed up thing. And I hate that it always turns so bitter in the end, right? So I don't have any ill will, right? These are great people. These are great people and they're doing well in life and I wish them nothing but the best in life. I'm probably gonna get a chance to do the powwow with Dave. I don't know necessarily if I'm gonna get a chance to do it with Shannon or not. I wanted it to be, like I said, everybody together, just go in on me, make it a Joe roast. Hey, there could be something to that, right? But if anything, ironically enough, I mean, this is about as ironic as it gets, in my opinion. Me and Jellico have been on talking terms. Talking terms enough that he agrees to hash it out with me a little bit. Have a sit down, right? And that's what I want to do. I don't even want to hash it out. There's nothing to hash out. I made the decisions that I made. And he's getting ready to go to prison. Unless, well, I mean, there's the potential he's getting ready to go to prison. And it is what it is. He's not a bad guy. He just did some bad shit and got wrapped up in some bad shit, and that's what it is. I don't necessarily know what's going to come from the sit-down with Jellico and I, but I'm ready to put it to bed, right? All the differences, because I am so sick and tired of the drama. I truly am. I would be so content to sit in my shed and film videos about prison underwear. I don't even think I've done that video yet. And get my little five or 10,000 views. I don't even know what I'm doing here. But if I am the problem, I apologize for being such. Maybe it's best that I put the walls up in the separation between me and everybody. And I did so for good, with good intentions. I didn't want to see it turn bad. And it's crazy to think that even after I tried to take the preventative measures, it still turned a little bad. But I'm not going to let this be that bad. I'm the problem. People have been saying it for a long time now. I realize that. What do I do about it? I don't want to be the problem. I'm not, I'm not okay with just justifying saying, you know what? I'm the problem. So that's it. <laughs> that's it. I don't want it to be like that. So I guess from here, we'll just see what happens. All right. So this is interesting. Getting ready to go see Jellico. Never thought that I would be saying that, but maybe it's for the best. Maybe something good is going to come out of this, and I honestly don't know uh, per se how this is going to go. But I'm hoping for the best, for sure. I don't want to see this be an ugly situation, so ultimately I would like to see this be for the, for the best. Uh, a couple of things to mention real quick. I'm paying Jellico to do this, so there's that. He's asked me to help him with a video for his channel, and I've agreed to do that. He was hesitant to do this, to say the least, so there's that. And I'm, you know, hesitant about doing this as well. But, like I said, I just hope something good is going to come of this. And maybe, in the end, you know, I guess the best case scenario is, hey, I'm able to make peace with everybody. Especially all the folks that there should have never been an issue with in the first place. That's what I'm hoping for. I, and maybe I, I learn from this or, and grow from this and realize the error of my ways and maybe learn what I need to do better. So let's go see Jellico and see how this goes. All right, so I'm just getting over to Jellico's place right now. And... I want to film as soon as I'm getting in the door. I, I literally just got in the door with him and bang, Jellico. What's up, everybody? Man, it's been a while since I last saw you. Yes, it has. And I want to have a candid conversation with you. Um, and I know that you're not in the best of places with everything that's coming up with the fact that you've got to get ready to go do some time again. And that's a very unfortunate situation. As I begin this, I guess the first thing that I want to say is, is something that I said to you earlier on the phone today. I said, Jellico, it was hurtful to me the way that everything turned out and the separation that I had to have, not only with myself, but with the After Prison Show because of the fact that you got in some trouble and we can just leave it with that. You're going to have to go do some time. 
Uh, and it hurt me because, man, I always thought so highly of you. I still think highly of you. You got so much damn potential. And it's just sad that the way things turned out. Yeah, but people don't understand. In life, you have people that come and go through your, you know, through your life. Um, and there's some ties that you have to let go of for the best interest of you and your family. Um, I was a part of an after prison show where we helped individuals from staying out of prison. I came back with a possession with intent charge. You see, and that is a conflict of interest in every single way. I don't, I understand people, you know, friends, people have an opinion, oh, he was your friend, he should have been there for you. But you have to understand, we are friends, but sometimes when you're moving forward, you have to let go of things in the past. And without that, you have no growth. And who's to say something would happen after he gives me a chance? And like he said one time, what if I was in the work truck and I had something on me and blah. I mean, the list goes on. And I say this now because I've learned, I've learned a lot from Joe and I've learned a lot through my whole experience through helping individuals. Um, the success rate is not good. And it's not intelligent or smart to surround yourself by people who are getting into things. And Joe helps people, but he doesn't surround himself with certain individuals. And that's the thing. You have to keep people at arm's reach sometimes. And I had to learn the hard way over and over and over again. Like if he might have seen when you pulled up, there's cameras in my house now. I got locks on everything. I mean, some of these individuals I've he helped have helped themselves to some of my things. Um, let me stop you right there and let me jump in here because I forgot, I told you why I wanted to film as soon as I got over to Jellico's house because I was filming initially before coming over here. But the premise, what I was going with, the, the running theme was uh, maybe I'm the problem, right? And that's not a boo-hoo for me, but what I'm where I'm going with that is, is if you think about every single person who I've had on After Prison Show, it always goes wrong. And ultimately, being real about this, I got to wear some of that responsibility. Mm -hmm. Now, the decision that I made in relation to what happened with you, I got to stand by that decision. And we're going to have a very candid conversation, Jellico, and I want to start with this. When you caught those charges, or, or that charge, or whatever it was, my not only did I say that I've got to call I got to have separation after prison show has to have separation I also told particularly Shannon hey look I do not think Jellico I think Jellico's bad news that's what I said and you know whether she listened to that or not that was my opinion of the situation at the time it 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 kills me to have to say that right mm -hmm. and I'm I, you don't have to say this, but like my thought on this is because where this whole pot got stirred up again is because you and Shannon and her wife were hanging out with you and Ann, um, and which is totally fine. It's your life. Hey, nope, it's not my business at all. But for her to post the pictures on After Prison Show after I had told her numerous times how I had felt, I felt like it was a slap in the face. So I want to start with that. And I understand because I understand that personally. You told me specifically how you felt about a certain individual and I don't know where my, my head was and I put someone on and I asked Agna, I put it on the page and we got into it excuse me you talked to me about how you felt and how things I wasn't supposed to do that you kind of hinted but people should know like I made it emphatically clear to Shannon I want to yes, say that I'm trying yeah. to think of the situation Remy. in relation Remy and oh, I put okay. something on the page and uh, okay. you made it clear and you fired me and I was all, I, didn't, I wasn't thinking, you know. I remember I, I wasn't thinking, but so you, let me, you, you, are, you are learning personally, the more as you go along, there's some people that you have to cut off and people who are on the internet don't see some of the things that you have done or some things that I have done or, or physically seeing what people are capable of when it comes to your reputation or takings or, or harming or just your rep whatever it is there's some people that you have to cut off and I understand what you said to Shannon and, and I, 
that's okay. And I even told her, you know, maybe that's not a good idea. I bet you five bucks you'll be gone in 30 minutes. But it kind of went from there. And I don't think necessarily was hostility, but I mean, we we are allowed to hang out with we are who are allowed to hang out with. And you're allowed to do what you're allowed to do with because it's your channel. Like, uh, let me throw this in here and real quick. I got to say a couple of things real quick. Time out. That's not going to bother us. Oh, that's not? No. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're good with that. Um, I forgot about the Remy situation in relation to Jellico. We had been working with Remy. Jellico and I had been working with Remy. Then that turned into a shit show on its own. Uh, you know, Jesus, I don't even know. Anyways, that turned bad. A lot of stuff happened off camera and... I guess Jellico did something, featured him on After Prison Show fan page. That's right. I got pissed off about that. So let me say this. It's almost, it's almost, but it's not really. Kind of like the, the Shannon posting the picture with Jellico's situation. In the regard that I reacted immediately. I react first, and then after a couple of days, start thinking about it like, damn. And then I get in contact with Jellico, and I'm like, man... I feel so bad about the situation, but I do have the principles and the standards that I, I mentioned that I set for myself and for After Prison Show to, to live up to. After Prison Show, I, maybe not even so much the people on After Prison Show, but just the, the community. I try to do the best that I can with that, and I get it. I make shit tons of mistakes in relation to that. And if Shannon wanted to go and post those pictures on her Facebook page, it's on her waist, Facebook, that is her prerogative. But to post them on the After Prison Show fan page when she don't post nothing else, let me know that it was done out of spite. And then that I heard, uh, you know, you just said it, but I had heard this also, you know, oh, it was a bet. That really no, triggered no, me. No, no, it wasn't a bet. I said, I said, I bet you, so don't do it. I, I know, but I, the way I, it was relayed to me was, oh, man, they made a bet about this. So then I really start to feel like. No, it wasn't anything. I said, don't do it. I bet you. But she's like, no, they won't. There's nothing wrong with it. And I was like, don't do it. I just, and that's the thing. You have to understand. When my sister is a teacher. My other teacher is a nurse. I love them. I'm going Your to. Your other sister is a nurse. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm going to send a shout out to them. But I'm not putting their name on Facebook. I'm putting bro sis. You know? Because they have a life separate. You have to separate sometimes. And I understand. They didn't have to ask me to do it. But I'm doing it out of respect for them and the love for them. They have professionals. Uh, I don't want to say, hey, I'm going to prison. I want to send a shout out to my sister. That is inappropriate. You know? So it's kind of hard for people to understand Period. I mean, but I get it. And it, it, y'all, everybody's been to AA meetings, people placing things. And I know very few people that have get out, got out and stay out. But the thing is, they have found a way by changing everything. And that's the only way it works. Well, I jump in here and I say this. Um, you know, the Shannon, I've got no ill will toward Shannon. I've got no ill will toward you, Jellico. Yeah. I felt a specific way, and I made that clear to certain people. Maybe not everything was meant for everybody, and it's sad that we're at this situation right now, but I want this situation to be some growth for me, and for me to also be able to say that, Jellico, I don't hate you. Like, that's not never what this was about. And I, I mentioned this during the Rabbit situation, which was the last time that we saw you on camera when you tried to help Rabbit. That's a whole totally different can of worms. We're not even going to go there. But I said, you know, I handled you and the situation that you got into totally wrong. I was making jokes about it, you know, and I was wrong for doing that. When this situation blew up again with the Shannon situation... I was ready to take this thing to the extreme. And it's me just being butthurt and vindictive. And I'll show them. I said that Jellico was a bad influence and this and that. But you know what? I just reacted hastily. And I'm not saying that this is all my fault. That's not what I'm saying at all. Because I still feel like Shannon shouldn't have done that. I, I, I feel like... It, and maybe I'll, I'll I'll be wrong about that forever. But whatever. I just want to say that and move on. So. But, but that's the thing. People are allowed to have and do whatever they want after work. 
you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to certain things, when it's when for you that's work as a prison show, your fam, that's work. And well, let me tell you, Jellico. Let me tell you another reason. Okay, I'm gonna list the reasons why I felt the way that I did about Shannon posting the pictures of you and her together on the After Prison Show fan page. Number one, I had told her that I felt like you were a bad influence. And for her to go and do that after not posting anything in forever, I felt like it was a slap in the face. Oh, don't forget about Jellico. I felt like it was a guilt trip as well. I didn't like that. Um, there was something else too. Um, where was I going with this? Damn it, man, I had a damn good point that I wanted to bring up about this. Uh, but, oh, this. You know, for them to post you and the After Prison Show fan page, what are people going to do? They're going to be like, oh, damn, there's Jellico. Man, Joe's a real piece of shit, you know? And on now, your, hey, I, I guess on I your am. On your page. On my page, right? Like, And maybe, maybe that's me. I, I don't know. But I ain't got time for that because all I did was try to help everybody and it always turned bad and in some cases maybe it was warranted in other cases maybe it was me overreacting or me handling a situation poorly but i'm not wearing all the blame in this i know that maybe i am the problem but damn it i tried you have to stand by your guns though man when you set a precedent for some things you know people will know next time you have i haven't watched your show in some time but you may have different people and and, and that's how you feel. You think someone is, is bad news. This is what you do. You're an after prison show. You help individuals coming home from incarceration. You I've, got you got to have rules. You got to have morals. You got to have things. Or things just don't work. I've harped on this point a few times already. The Jellico bad influence thing. So I want to ask you. Um, I was going to ask you specifically. Do you feel like you're a bad influence? But I'm not going to ask you that. I'm going to change that up and I'm going to say this. How does me saying that I felt like you were a bad influence, uh, like what are your thoughts of me th thinking that? I completely and utterly understand. Um, I completely and utterly understand. Uh, in so many ways. Uh, there, there's just certain things. You, you got, were dealing with your own problems. Can I say that? Yeah, yeah. You were dealing with your own problems, right? Yeah. Just like so many other people who have come and gone on after prison show. And I don't want to name names because I'm really not trying to make this uh, every single person on after prison. But there's been many people who have battled demons and battled addictions and things along those lines. And maybe... Maybe being a part of this, and I hate to even say this, but maybe being a part of this was the worst damn thing for some people. And that's the thing. People don't understand. People don't understand. And it and it's hard to try and explain to people. Shannon wasn't wrong for posting what she did, but you won't you weren't wrong for getting mad. But she had to understand just like you told me we could have posted it anywhere else and i'm sorry and i'm sorry that shannon got and there's other people that were brought into it and, and i'm sorry but but that's but that's what happens like if like if something bad would have happened okay i want to say this straight up um i'm still mad that that got posted because I feel like and I believe it was done spitefully. Hands down, that's the way that I'm going to feel. And I've mentioned previous to filming this why I felt like it was done spitefully. I'm entitled to feel that way. However, you know, I am not going to carry this grudge for like I'm not even going to carry this grudge any longer than this this project, whatever this is, this Joe's the problem project. I guess is the best way to say this. And I'm not going to stay mad at Shannon. I'm not mad at Jellico for this. Like, I'm not disappointed. I'm going to tell you this, though. After I booted Shannon and booted her wife, and then she went and blasted me on her Facebook page, I'm even more mad about that because I didn't do nothing but ever try to help her. But it is what it is. I get I get the fact that everybody was emotionally charged. And, and, and people, yeah. People, because I did exactly what everybody thought I was going to do. And... And it's something that I'm gonna blow over. Just and I honestly believe that. 
and it's just like the internet makes up feuds that aren't really feuds and because people other people get involved you know you and Shannon get along perfectly and you you have to do what you have to do man and I understand that and I want to do I know and, and I know it's hard the convert you know we're both Shannon it, and I know it no was, one's in your shoes no one knows what it's like to run a channel or have troll or it, no one knows man they don't know and they don't know what it's like helping people and then make mistakes and they m make mistakes constantly and you have their back and you look like a fool no one has no man, one under could put that on repeat dude no one knows what it's like to stand up for somebody and look like a fool and i have several times for several people and it's not a good look it's not it's not if you if you're standing by somebody who's a f up you know what i'm saying there's i don't have many wins when it comes to helping people i've got i've got very few myself if i've got any i don't even want to cut you off right here because i i this is how me and you relate, right? One of many ways that we relate. You're a hard worker. I respect your work ethic. I respect your hustle. I respect your go-getter. Uh, I respect everything that you do trying to get ahead. You made some mistakes along the way. You're going to end up paying the price for that. That's very sad. But I want to... I feel like I'm forgetting a thought. Um, I, wa I want to move on, I guess. And if I forgot a thought, I'm... Screw it. Look, Jellico. Ultimately, you've got whatever's getting ready to happen upcoming. I see the post that you're making on Facebook talking about the countdown. Uh, like, as of right now, how many days until you go to court? Sunday. Uh, what we got? Today makes 10. 10 and a wake up. You know? You've gotten this thing continued and COVID and yeah, you've man, been... there's nothing else I can do, man. I was hoping, man, I've done everything I can. Maybe an attorney can help me. But, man, to be honest with you, that's why I did the countdown or whatever because I got to go to court and I have to go. I, I'm not a runner, so I'm going to take responsibility for this. And you said something, and it's going to take me a second, so you have to give me a second to say this. Um, but I have to say this, and y'all have to hear this. Uh, this part is sad. It is sad. Like you said, it's sad me going in. But I broke the law. And I'm a firm believer in you do the crime, you do the time. And, you know, I have the ability to choose whatever I want to do. But I don't have the ability to choose the consequences of my actions. And that's what, and that's what hurts because what I did is not who I am. The time I'm going to do, I'm going to have so much support and it kills me because... I'm better than what what I'm I'm going to be judged by. I deserve better for me. And it is sad, but the thing is don't be sad. It was sad that a grown man had an opportunity and I and I messed it up. I had everything handed to me. I had my phone ringing non-stop. I had all the support in the world. And I chose to go the wrong way. And uh, that's what happens when you make wrong choices. <laughs> Joe's choice to do whatever allows him to be free. His business to whatever. He can choose whatever he wants to do. And that choice won't make him put him in prison. But the choice I did is... So, it's sad that my son has to live without his father another so years. It's sad that Anne's got to do all this by herself. It's sad that I got to call for canteen and all this stuff and ask for help as a grown man. 
That's what's sad. Well, I guess if there's any silver lining in the situation, you're going to get it taken care of. You got, you're looking at one to three. Yes, I'm supposed to be walking into a plea agreement for one to three with the violation included. And people say, get letters. Get letters from this person. Get this person to stand up for you. Get this person to stand up for you, man. You've done so much. But I didn't do it for that. I didn't do my YouTube channel for money. I did it to get monetized to make a point. And then I, I, ended up, I got monetized and that's it. You know, I don't... This isn't fun and games. This is just my life. And uh, I've learned a lot. And, it, and, and with, each, with each thing, as long as you learn, you grow. But, I don't belong where I'm going, but it's something I got to do and man up and just walk in with my head held high, but it just doesn't make it easy. It's just not easy. That's that's the only thing of it all. It's, it's just not easy. But, I have to make an example for other individuals by just walking in and taking responsibility for what I am. I don't want to go to jail. I want to run, of course, you know. My nerves are bad. I, I'm, I'm not doing well. I drink. I smoke. And to be honest with you, I'm a bad influence. And people who are trying to stay in the right or stay whatever, I, I believe it would be in their best interest, not in the past and now, to not associate with me because... I surround myself with a certain type of people trying to help them, but I can't help them. And it seems like the, some of the people I help make things worse. And you, you're not Joe, you're not, you're not, you know, it's hard for other people to understand. Let me jump in here real quick and I'm going to completely switch gears. I don't want to make this very long. So I need to jump in here and say something. And that is... You know, I think about me cutting ties with everybody and, uh, you know, people had feelings about that. But you just reminded me of something and I want to ask you a question. And I hope you will answer this question. And I'm just going to ask you, you know, I cut off everybody, Jellico, Dave, Shannon. I just wanted to do me and just avoid the drama. And that was one of the many reasons why I did so. But I had just recently gone through a situation where my character was continuously being assassinated. And I've made peace with part of where that vindictiveness was coming from. However, there was another part entirely to that that you had some experience with. And I want to ask you a question. What happened to Levi? I don't know. And I don't know where he's at. All I remember, and I don't know much, is that Levi was helping you with your YouTube channel. When you mentioned the YouTube channel, that's what made me think of that. Yeah, uh, me and him... We had, he just, I couldn't get any help. And I'm, I'm, I'm to the point, if you look around, it's hard for me to get help. And so uh, let me just ask you this. I ain't trying to put no words in your mouth. Yeah. Did he work? Was he lazy? Like, talk to me about, like, just. His talent on a computer was unprecedented. Unprecedented. He was awesome. He's worked with Prison Junkie. He's worked with you. His talent is, is, is awesome. But. I brought him in and I let him stay here in my in my house and you know just like I said you live and learn from certain instances things aren't always what they appear and uh he was a piece of shit let's just put it uh let me not put words in your mouth that's my point on him and I guarantee you probably spend more we time did, we have not we have not talked about this situation we have not talked about this situation and even a hair up on the, home, up on the phone and anything we ever discussed on film we've already previously discussed. We well, so you don't have to say anything if you don't want to say No, anything. no, no, no. I want to say this. 
I'm going to feel the way that I got to feel because that you, man yeah, literally I, tried to assassinate my character. And, and I guarantee when he came to stay with you and help you with the, the channel, his motive was to just try to be a competitor of me, guarantee. But I guarantee you wanted to put him to work and he probably spent more time being a lazy sack of shit on your couch. That's just my opinion. I could be dead wrong. That's funny. That's funny how... Much of a detective I am? Yeah, how much you know. But, uh... Yanni warned me. And me and Yanni have made peace. I want to say that as well. Yanni, I haven't talked to Yanni in a long time. And, uh... Yeah. Yanni was right. Yanni was right. Um... Because Yanni... And I hate to throw you in this if you ever get a chance to see this. But Yanni also said after the video that was filmed with his interview with Levi... That Levi was not everything that he appeared to be, which led to speculation of his, what's the word, reliability or anything like that, but neither here nor there. But no, his talent, his talent, he, he took everything I had and was done with it in 15 minutes. I, I was unbelievable and remarkable, but that's about all you get. And I... I'm sure he wanted everything. Did he talk about a... 80 20 split with you on YouTube? No, I, I and that's the thing, man. I was willing to do whatever. I was just wanted to make the videos that I had. I wanted some old stuff taken care of. And uh, when he stayed here over the week, I was hoping we would get and learn and do a lot of things. And it, it didn't happen. And inevitably, like everything and all things in when I cut someone off, something was missing. Mm. I allow people certain leeway with certain things but when i invite in individuals in my home or my family's home or a work um you know a job site's home there's certain things that i require of individuals you know just like every you just like you you just want somebody to do this i need somebody to, to come sober and do the job and that's it and uh yeah something i, I don't put people on blast because that's our business I'll, I'll make things very vague but something was missing somewhere along the lines somewhere along the lines and okay anyways enough about all of but that but I can't find him I can't find him on the internet I can't find him anywhere it's crazy how he pops up and disappears like that he'll show up again somewhere um Look, Jellica, I don't want to make this any longer than it is I want to thank you for doing this with me and hold on let me start and stop real quick all right, I'm started again. I, I want to say this. It's kind of trivial and kind of really petty how this whole thing got blown up again with just a post on Facebook, right? Just, Joe, you're petty as shit. But let me say this. If any silver lining, if anything good came of this, hey, me and you had a conversation again. And I realized the error of my ways because I was heading toward a vindictive path myself. And I'm glad that I didn't do that. Because when I talk to you on the phone, Jellico, I, I, will, I will stand by. Everything that I've done and everything that I said, and, and if I've made mistakes, I will try to learn from those mistakes. But I want to say this. I said, you know, I always got respect and love for you, and I, like, you were always a friend. And it's just sad that it turned, it, it, it's just sad that decisions that had to be made the way that they did. It's sad the way things turned out. And with that, I want to end this with two different things. One. Anything that you want to say to me? This is a pure awareness group, kind of. I wanted yeah, to get Yeah, yeah, that's why I went... I was, I was going through posts. I was like, man, 319 messages. Oh, man, let me look at it. I was going through, and I saw your name. I was like, she'll never respond to anything. And I was like... I was uh, still being vindictive at that point. I'm not yeah, going to Yeah, even when I, when I made your post... Here, there's a piece... There's a notebook I have. I, I almost want to show you. I have a list of people I have to thank, starting from 14 down. Some stuff happened the last couple of days. Some people had to be taken off the list. Let's just say that. And you were next on the list. And I'm like, I can't sway because I had it written down. Talking about 14 days to court. Yeah, yeah. And your name came up. And I was like, you know what? And the items that I had on one shot down. I had car parts. I'm like, oh, this is great. I have car parts and Joe. I'm, I'm making jokes. And this is not. That's why I made specific. So I literally and honestly, everything I meant everything I said on the post. I envy Joe's work ethic. And I am proud to be a part of that prison show. And I am sincerely grateful for the opportunity. And I mean that. And uh, I am. And I mean that. Um, but people, you know, you cut ties with me. And I have no problem with that. 
our business is not everybody's business, but we put it on we put it on film. But you know, inevitably, like I said, you have to cut. You, when you're growing, there's people you're going to leave behind. Unless you stay stagnant with everybody else, you know? And there's moves that you have to make that where you have to do better, move forward. And people who aren't moving forward are being left behind. You have to keep doing good, great things, making and moving up. And and that's what you you had to do, man. This channel has lasted this long because you have run it. And, and I agree with that. I... You know, I, I I hang out with Shannon. I I, I barely I have I haven't talked to Dave, but you know I hung out with Rabbit. You know, and and I'm sorry as collateral damage was messing with me that they had to deal with this. But you have to understand, and and if an individual who's doing well and has stood by his guns, this is what works, and he's still doing what he's doing, you know, and I'm I gotta go to court, you know. You got an opportunity after this to yes. bounce back and to get your life back. It's not a life sentence. It's a whatever it's going to be. It's going to be a little meatball that you got to go do. You'll come out with some stories, hell. Get your channel jumping. Tell the stories. You know, whatever. Um, I don't even know where to really wrap this up with. I'll be curious to see what happens in terms of the time that you get. And I hope that that time, whatever it is, it goes by fast and that you're able to come back out here and do it totally different, Jellico. You fell into all the wrong stuff and it's sad because, man, you can do anything. And if you could just get out of the way of the bullshit. And you're not the only person. There's so many people who have been just like that. They can't get beyond the addiction or the people or... And that's the thing that I'm having a hard time explaining to people and living it in myself. I have surrounded myself with certain types of people, certain individuals. Okay. Um, and with that comes the stigma or just whatever. You'll stay stagnant. Um, I don't want to... I... <laughs> You, you Please got, forgive me for saying this, and if I'm out of line, you can no, say something. No, no, no. But, just, uh, you know, the stigma, we can't, I don't even want to say stigma. And maybe people are going to be mad at me because they're like, Joe, you didn't even really go in hard. And just to say one thing, Jellica, you caught a charge. There was a reason behind that, whether it was, uh, you know, you were guilty or you were innocent. You caught a charge that speaks louder than a stigma, Right. And maybe being around certain people caused that to, to happen, or maybe it was whatever the case may be. So I feel like you're owning it. You've said, hey, look, I'm not running. I'm facing this. And you have tried to do, even in the midst of all that you were dealing with, with court and an open case, you still have tried to work with people. And I want to say one thing, right? I want to give you some major credit. You said, most everybody that you ever tried to help, it never worked out. Hell, I can relate to that. But one person who you definitely helped out, and they don't even mess with me no more, and it's probably because of you, but no skin off my back because you truly did a lot of great things for this guy, was Jewman. Man, you blessed Jewman with work and with all sorts of tools. You really helped that dude. And I want to show you a text. I almost want to show you a text. Uh, there was a message he left on Facebook. He said, I saw that message. And it said, Jellico, I'm sorry you haven't seen me. But there's nothing he can do for you. And me and Jewman are good. And and that's the way it is. And I, I understand. You can't. You have to move on. People will not make it. The recidivism rate, or, you know, it, it's, it's just a lot. And, uh, you know, in all these self-help books, it tells you to surround yourself with certain people, you know, and uh, you have to, you want to make a million dollars, you start hanging out with million dollar people. But if you don't have big dreams and aspirations, you, you know, you can just stay stagnant and it's just what it is. I, I wanted to help people. I thought it, it did something for me and I didn't do it for everybody else. But the thing is, I that's taken care of now. Now I need to take care of me. I did something. I was a bad person when I was high for the past 25 years, and I'm good now. I'm good with God. I'm good with, you know, I'm good. So when I come out, I, 
I got to do me because helping people along the way has kept, kept, kept me back from being a greater person than for myself, for my kids and such. Helping other people took time away from other people that love me. And uh, that's what's important. When I get out, I'm just going to get a job. I'm not going to own my own business. I'm just going to go somewhere and work, come home and love my family. You know, because I know any other way won't work. I can't necessarily tell you always what to do, but I can tell you what not to do, you know. Um, and, uh, I mean, I read 48 Laws of Power, and it says not hang out with un unlucky people. You know, I play cards. And if I consider someone unlucky, I don't mess with them. Just like someone, would, you know, if you find someone with a charge and it's not a good idea to hang out with them, I recommend you tell other people that. And that's why I hold no strife or no whatever. And, and I hate the collateral damage because of Shannon and stuff like that. I love Shannon. I love y'all. But, you know, it's what works. It's what works for you. You will never get in any trouble doing what you're doing. I want to wrap this up and just say, Jellico, anything you want to say to everybody? Thanks for all the support. I appreciate it. I like I talked to Joe. I'm going to be locked up. I'm not. And it's going to be put up information for everybody to contact me and to get a hold of me. I'm not requesting that anybody send me anything like I've always done. I don't. I'll get by. I appreciate the thought. But no, thank you, and I appreciate everybody having my back and taking the time to listen to Joe and his side, or to listen to my side. Maybe sooner you'll hear Shannon's side, but you have to understand we're all adults here, and we're acting like children. Yeah, I mean, and, and the thing, and the reality is, life isn't a game. You were trying to give her a real, you know, don't, you know, and you're just trying to protect her, you know, and you have to stand by your guns and. She may feel like she needs to stand by her guns, and and that's okay. You know, everybody has the right to do what they want, but they have to understand through the experiences that people learned it. People don't say things just to say things. They're saying things because they want to help. I want to help, but sometimes, you know, it's, it's not always the, uh, you know, but you do what you can. I, I love everybody, and I appreciate everything. I... Uh, uh, I'm not on any of the pages, but I still talk to people on a regular. You know, somebody talked to me about, you know, if I wrote somebody in prison, you know, and I was explaining I never, never wrote into the prison, but there's still people I talk to that I love and care about generally because of the experiences with you, and I greatly appreciate everybody and everything that surrounded the movement of At The Prison Show, and and, and it's just wonderful, and it's great, and and I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I was a part of it, and... If one day I want to call you and say, hey, man, what's up? Can I do this? That will have to be after you hear great things about me. You haven't heard great things. But till you know from, till you know that you can stand by me and support me, you, you can't. And I wouldn't either. But I thank everybody for their support. And I appreciate After Prison Show and Joe Guerrero in particular. Y'all be good. Real quick, um, I don't even want to say this, but I'm going to throw this in here. Um, you can go ahead and chop it up. If there's something... No, nah, I don't even, I was going to say something like... People were making comments saying, Oh, as long as Jellico follows the After Prison Show guidelines on how to do this video. I mean, you were cool with the tone of this and... Nah, man. They, I mean, people have to understand that people are human, whether... Shannon made a mistake, or you make a mistake, or I make mistakes, and then people have the opportunity to have their opinion. And I, people take things real personal real quick, and they make judgment without knowing anything. I had somebody get in an argument on my fan, or, or not my fan page, but on a post that I had about me, and I've never even talked to either one of them. And and, and, it's, and it's just, it, it's odd to me, but it's what I've put myself into, you know. But, and, and that's the thing. You will be judged one way or another, and, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get one last video out on my channel. 
just for the sake of saying my piece. You've asked me to help you with that. Yeah, and, and I've I, said that I would. Yeah, but it, that that's the thing. Some things I just need to let go. That was something that I put my heart. I didn't. I couldn't put my heart and soul into. So you got what you got. I'm. I'm not ready to do what you do. I can't do what you do because this is this is this is everything to you, and YouTube isn't everything to me. So it, it, it's I love it, and it's been a great experience. I would love to make money off of it, but that's just not why I did it. It's just not why I did it. But who knows? Jellica, thank you for taking the time to do this with me. Not a problem. And whatever's coming next for you. I wish you the best, and I hope whatever comes after that is a lot better than what it's been. Yeah, man. Um, just work, man. I stopped using the word hustle. I was stood by the word hustle, but now it's just work, man. Time to get to work. Time to grow up. I'm going to end it with that.